Hello everyone and welcome back. In this particular lecture, we're going to be going over the schedule performance index and the cost performance index. Uh, these are two indices that will help you to understand uh, how your finances are going for your project and, you know, based on the actuals realized on the project and telling you it's one of the tools that you can use to determine how your overall project plan is going and to determine if you're behind uh, schedule or ahead of schedule so what i wanted to do first is to start with the schedule uh tracking and more specifically the schedule performance index basically what this one does here as per the first bullet point here it allows you to evaluate how the project is progressing as compared to the schedule and you leverage the earned value here. So uh, I'll go into an example of that in one moment, but basically the idea is that if your calculated SPI is greater than one, the project is ahead of schedule. If the SPI is less than one, this is saying that your project is behind schedule. And finally, if the SPI is zero or it's equal, the project you're right on schedule in regards to the project performance. So as an example of that, let's just say, according to this first bullet point, you have a project that's one year long, has to be completed in 12 months. The overall budget is $100,000 and half of the project is done. Six months have passed and you've spent $60,000 on this project. And as you have this cost of 60000 you realize that only 40% of the work has been completed so far for the overall project, which is budgeted at 100,000. So your actual cost is 60,000, which has been spent. The planned value is this formula here. It's, it's gonna be 50% of 100,000, which is 50,000. The reason why we have the 50% is because six months have passed and our project is half complete. So 50% of it has been completed. So 50% of $100,000 which is the overall project, it's 50,000. Now, uh, one word of caution here uh, for this particular calculation, the assumption here as for both the you know, SPI and CPI calculations, it is assuming that the project budget is distributed evenly for each month. So in this case, um, in six months, 50% of the project budget would have been spent. This is actually an assumption based on the time that has been sent, uh, spent, six months out of the 12 months. So when you look at the time range, you can assume that the project's half done, which gives you the 50%. You can make that assumption, but the other assumption of the project having its budget evenly distributed on the project, that assumption also has to be true. So when this is the case, what will happen is, is that your earned value will be 40% of the total project budget, which is 100,000. That's going to be 40,000. And this 40% is derived from the fact that you discovered 40% of the work has been completed so far. So this is going to give you a 40,000. Then the schedule performance index will, this is the formula here. You basically have your earned value, which is 40,000 divided by your present value, which is the 50,000, and you get 0.8. And your 0.8 is a ratio, and going back to up here in the first bullet point, if you leverage these metrics, you will discover that the schedule, the schedule performance index is 0.8. And the translation of that is that you are behind schedule because the schedule performance index is less than one. So if you discover that you're behind schedule, you really have to become very proactive and start digging through as to what's happening on your project and develop action plans um, to uh, make sure that the project gets back on track. Now, an example of this, oh, just bear with me for one second. I'm just gonna go back to this presentation. I did, did too many click, clicks. Um, an example of SPI is right here, based on our project. Now, as you can see at the top, our project doesn't have the expenses or the budget evenly spread through the project. So at the end of five months, which is here, we're gonna assume that we're here 
at the end of the requirements phase. Now, overall, our project is 14 months long, and this time span from the kickoff phase to the end of the requirements phase is five months. So we're not technically at the midpoint, but a lot of the expense of the project has been realized in those first five months to get everything, you know, the requirements nailed down and to have everything set up for this project. So at the end of the five months, um, our project budget for five months is the 526800 That's for these two phases here, the kickoff phase and the requirements phase. And this is going to be our planned value since the budget is not evenly spread out. We want to give an accurate estimate as to what's going on with our project. So our actual cost is going to be the 526800 The overall budget is 946800 And approximately 35% of the work has been completed. This is about, you know, five months completed out of the 14 months. And if we go with the SPI um, example before, you know, the, the formula, we're going to arrive at an earned value, which is 35% completion of the 946000 equals 331380 This is our earned value based only on the assumption that 35% of our project is complete based on the five months being complete out of the 14. Now, the schedule performance index... We're going to take our earned value divided by the present value um, up here. And also, and, and <laughs> don't allow these mathematical formulas to scare you off. Um, what I'll do is that I'll have this presentation available in the resources, and you can follow along with these descriptions. But getting back to our SPI, our SPI is going to be 0.63. Now, the thing is, with this value, we're going to assume that we're behind schedule. But that's with the assumption that the money is evenly distributed because what we did before for earned value is that the 35% of the overall 946,000 uh, is being considered. So if we've completed our tasks through the requirements phase as originally planned, there were no delays, then this is going to be a little bit misleading in the fact that the 0.63 is going to say that you're behind schedule. Actually, the earned value is 526000 because the true value of the milestones that have been completed come out to $526,000 since this was budgeted for these first two milestones up here, the kickoff phase and the requirement phase. So since the earned value is equal to the actual cost that's been realized so far, the SPI is going to be 526000 divided by itself, which gives us one, that means that we're actually on schedule because we've completed these milestones, we haven't experienced any delays, and we've charged back uh, to finance this amount of money. So we're actually on schedule and there's no reason to, I mean, of course, you still have to watch the project to make sure it doesn't fall behind, but at this point, there's no reason for alarm because we're continuing on schedule. Now, if we move on, to the cost performance index, this is a little bit different in that it specifies how much you're earning for each dollar spent on the project. And this is a great tool for executive management because they want to understand what are we getting back for each dollar we're spending on our projects? What are we getting back for that? Are we just bleeding money away from the organization or are we actually getting true value from our projects? So this is where CPI helps out. And the formulas here cost performance index on this second bullet point is basically the earned value divided by the actual cost. And again, we have guidelines here. If the CPI is greater than one, the project is under bu budget. If it's less than one, the project is over budget. And if the CPI is equal, then that means we're right on track. And right here, down here, we have an example of the cost performance index. Again, we have a project at, you know, 12 month duration with a budget of $100,000. Six months have passed or 50% of the project is complete and $60,000 has been sent. And when you evaluate your project um, at this point, you're finding out that only 40% of the project is completed. So you have your formulas here. Actual cost is 60000 Present value is the 50%. Because again, you're halfway done with the project based on time. 50% of 100000 is 50000 
Your earned value is the actual completion, which is 40%, which you have estimated here, the 40%. 40% 40 of 100,000 is 40,000. Then the CPI, you take your previous two values, divide them, and you get 0.67. And this is saying to executive management that you're earning only 67 cents for every dollar spent since the cost performance in this index is less than one. And this is saying that you're over budget. And this is not good because what's gonna happen is, is that this is basically saying that this project is bleeding money away uh, from, from the organization because they're go the organization is gonna overspend to realize a benefit of less money. So this is where the project needs to be uh, reviewed and again, uh, proactive action needs to be taken uh, to fix this project. But again, the assumption here is that the budget is evenly distributed over the 12 months. So now if we go to our example, again, we have our milestones up here at the top. At the other five months, we have our same situation where the overall project, uh, I'm sorry, after five months, we have a budget of 526,000. Um, so our actual cost is the 526,000. Overall budget of the project, again, is 946,000. 35% of the project has been completed based on the five months complete out of 14. Since we're on track, these five months have been completed out of the 14 uh, months of the project. So we're estimating that 35% of the work is done. Earn value is 35% that we just discussed on the project completion rate. 35% of the overall budget gives us 331,000. The cost performance in this is 0.63. And again, we're over budget because we're only getting 63 cents benefit for every dollar spent on the project. Now again, this is assuming that the budget and funding is spread evenly across the project. But again, if you come up here to earn value, it's actually 526,000 because that was the value of the milestones in these first two phases. And that's at the five month mark. So the CPI should actually be one because if you uh, divide the earned value with this, which is 526,000 divided by the actual cost, which is also 526, you get one. And that's basically telling us that the project is on schedule. So I realized there was, this was a bit of a mouthful in regards to CPI and SPI. Thanks, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in a bit.